Alright guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Death Fug! Anyways, uh, we're gonna go fucking deal with the Temple of Zorostista, which is my god. The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. Kneel before the altar and pray to Zorostista. There is a blinding flash and you are surrounded by flame. It licks your skin, but does not burn. It dances in your hair, but does not singe. You feel a curious peace. Looking up, you see Zor Stissa staring down at you from a throne of embers. Above her is the emblem of a sun, once aflame but now dim and fading. She nods to you. Go, my prince. Do what must be done. The vision fades, and once again you find yourself at the altar, faint embers of ash scorching the fabric of your clothes. Eat. Hey, it's a cave down here. It's always a cave. We learned that Zorostissa is aligned with the sun. V Vigor is aligned with the sun. So... So where's this cave? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, down there. It's like the cave entrance. Oh, sweet. Let's go. I want fucking Zorostissa's fucking secret weapons. Reading of the wonders of Zorostissa, it's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. You think you do, but you don't. I mean, you're her people, that's me. Alright. Uh. Uh, this looks, looks kind of dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. Let me cave, what the fuck is this? Well, I'm gonna go look at a lizard skeleton. Oh, a cup of tea. I know who to send that to. I gave, uh, Sibiel a lizard like to munch on. Delicious lizard like the fuck. And the cave entrance over here, but it's poison, so you are a priest of the kin. Your face raised to the sun, your blood warming to the heat upon your skin. All is well. And then all is not well. Cries of war come from the shore, and death comes quick. Okay. Well what happened? I just point out the cave entrance to you. Oh, another cave entrance, huh? It's too many caves for me. Well, not over here. Like I felt like you're like it's not much of a cave. Like it's a cave there, bro. Oh, that cave. Sure. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Uh, we'll go into the fucking cave. Oh, dude, no. There's a crab you gotta talk to. Look at that. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Fuck everything else. Let's go talk to the crab. All right. You, you there. Prithee, goodly traveler. Might I prevail upon you to answer a question? Yeah, sure. You see, I am on a mission most grave. I seek a sorcerer most foul, most reviled, most feared. Her name is... His pincers scissor wildly. Scepter the Ineffable! Have you heard tell of this wicked beast on your travels? So you remember such a crab, you met her in Fort Joy. Oh, oh no. You spoke to her. Face to whatever you call the odd frontly part of your person. I regret to inform you, you haven't much longer to live then. Now that she has your scent, it won't be long until Scepter tracks you here and guts you like a minnow. You have my sympathy. Salute solemnly and take your leave. The hunt continues. Imperio, away! App apparently a sorcerer is, uh, there's a sorcerer crab that's gonna kill us. Kill you. Wait, what the fuck is this guy doing? He's, he's on an adventure. He's fucking outski. He's really out. He's gone. I remember talking to a crab on on Fort Joy. Sorcerer crabs. When are we gonna finish the sorcerer crab storyline? This is not quite the safest place I've ever been. Still, still not better storyline than Efan and fucking. The fuck. What did Evan say? Something with smoke? Alright, I'm taking some shrooms. Well, I guess there's like... There's like a it's sword... body over there. Yeah, well... Well, I guess that's not the solution. Oh yeah, here, here's a guy. Did you kill Rita? The spirit before you drips sores from his raggedly slit throat. Realizing that you can see him, he throws a wry smile in your direction. Ah, Godwoken. 
You know how you relive bad exams in your nightmares? Good news, you get to relive them in death, too. <laughs> Tell me you never had an exam as badly as, as his uh, seems to have. He rolls his neck, sores gurgling and spouting from the deep gash. He laughs, and his laugh is a bitter one. As I was facing the trials, I was killed by another God-woken hopeful. He's long gone now, but I'm still here. I just can't stop thinking about it. That one answer, the one I couldn't get in time. Anon Fallon Reveal. Anon Fallon Reveal. What in the void comes next? You remember uh, Tarquin muttering this phrase, what comes next? I guess Arqu uh, I can't read that. His face lights up, gratitude shining forth from it. That's it! That's it! He begins to fade from view, but as he disintegrates, he traces an esoteric sigil in the air between you and pushes forceful energy into you, restoring you. Oh man, I'm restored. A humming skeleton. All right, you Dude. Can have, you can have glass. I will take the gold. Mage boots. There you go. Uh, you should have beast teleport to me. It's a snack for him. I was thinking about that. I can't, just, I can't be asked on linking, so I'll just teleport to you, then teleport to Sabeel. Delicious. All right, well, that's it for this place. <laughs> nice cave, devs. I mean, I mean it's Rostis's cave. Man, your cave sucks. Yeah, fuck you, piece of shit. This hey, wanna go up? What? Wanna go up there? Uh. I mean. Oh, maybe that's like Zerostis's temple, fucker. You just wait, my god will show in your god. Can we just make it over there? We're <laughs> going to relics. I can get up there, so. Just trying to look at where. Sweet. Oh, sweet skeleton. No, I want a skeleton. You're too slow. So, why is there a waypoint here, do you think? Oh, I don't work. know. Awesome. Empty grenade. Enjoy, beast. Dude, it's empty. I mean. That's what it says. That's just not, that's just not kosher. Part of the Divine Order's fleet, by the look of it. Hellfire must have rained down. Well, he snacks here too. Oh, we got that. Uh, this is actually the Temple of Armadia. Axe where? So, what was the point in coming here? Well, maybe there's a vine here. Ah, uh, of course. More vines. Oh, uh, it's an ancestor tree, that's why. Okay. Maybe, maybe not an ancestor tree. It goes higher up those oh, little vines. Oh, shit. All right, Jack and the Beanstalk, motherfucker. I'll see you later. It literally is Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm in an entirely new era. In the clouds. <laughs> what holds this aloft? See ya. <laughs> up, up in the clouds. Hey, look! It's that woman you pissed off. Uh, which one? I do that a lot. Oh, that one. Remember that oh. one god you really annoyed? Oh, right, cool. Let's go talk to her. I, I saved for no reason. Before you stands a shrine to Amadia. Her solemn face carved of ancient stone. Examine the statue. This statue of Amadia seems ancient. Moss blooms from cracks all over the stone, and tears of rain stream from her eyes. A hollow space marks the center of her creased brow. Ah, uh, pray to Amadia. You remember that the statue of Amadia in the hollow marshes bled. But no words from you can rouse this one to response. Whatever powers the gods once had has weakened indeed. Place your hand on the shrine and ask for Armadia's blessing. You feel a presence awaken within the stone. An ancient awareness reaches out to you, swirling through every cell of your body and every mote of your soul. You feel your blood bubble and seethe. 
as if it is flowing faster through your whole body. Your mind quickens, and you realize that your thoughts and actions are faster than ever before. Then the awareness recedes from you, ebbing back like a tide until you are left completely alone, alone with your thoughts, alone with the blessing Amalia left you with. Oh man, I'm El Hostade. Is that permanent? Uh, apparently. Also, is that a fucking... What the fuck is this thing doing? What a fucking piece of shit. Shit, I want some haste. Yeah, go get some haste, bitch. I got air immunity. Oh, cool. Let's, let's all get some buffs. Fuck. No, uh, me first. Get out. No, get a fucking piece of shit. Hurry up. I got water immunity. Before you stands a sh you feel a fire suddenly rages fire and then the awareness recedes from you. <laughs> what did you get haste? Can I get another Before buff? No, I can't. I don't know, but I'm El Hoste now. Little bitch. Alright, so there's some things around here. Oh right, dude, that looks like a that looks like a chest. Well, it would stand to reason probably have to solve this area's puzzle and the door, door will open. By solve the solve the puzzle, you mean fly everywhere, right? Of course, of course. Don't worry, I'm hostile. Do 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 do. do. Oh, okay, there's nothing here. All right. I so mean, this is the corpse right there. Uh, shame, ping it for me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, God damn it! It's in the fire, dude. I do. I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I'll hostile. It's fine. I'm a fast fucker. All right, so. <coughs> Uh, apparently, there's shields up. Where the lot? Yep. Is there a spooky ghost anywhere? Yeah, there is a spooky ghost here. Alright, let me go talk to the spooky ghost. The spirit of a Black Ring initiate stands before you. He seems to be smoldering. Spectral ash and smoke drift away from him. He sighs at his incinerated mortal remains. Perhaps my sacrifice will be enough. Perhaps the God King will restore me to fight again. Ask what the dangers that lie had. You are no comrade of mine, outsider. You can go see for yourself and die in the attempt. Uh, not the absence of uh, any other black ring. Ask if he tried to take the temple by himself. The spirit puffs himself up. The God King rewards daring. I thought I could capture this place alone while the others were occupied. There's more dangers here than I would have credited with. Uh, demand he tells you uh, what he knows, or you'll use your god woken powers to consume his source and cast him into nothingness. If the spirit still had a complexion, he would no doubt turn pale at this point. God woken? No, wait, please! I'll tell you what I know. The sentinels, they're no danger when they're moving. But as soon as they stop, that means they're about to attack. That's all I know, I swear! That's how they got me. I didn't realize I was in danger until it was too late. Alright, fine. I'll be merciful. Let it be known that I'm a nice guy. So Sabine would be immune to the fire aura. Yeah, she would. What do you mean fire aura? She's immune to fire period. Fire ward. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. I wonder if that means we can run through the corresponding areas. Hang on, let me try. I mean, this game should still be allow you to basically... I mean, there's nothing that says that that does a shit ton of damage, anyways. See, beast is immune to air. What if that means you can run for this barrier? No, I can't. Where is this pedestal? Hmm? Oh! You did something. Water immune, so you find this like over here. Fuck, where, where I are you? I touched this pedestal over here. Where's Ethan? See how there's like ice effects here, and he finds immune to ice, so he just kind of walks through it all. Uh. When we do this, it probably opens up the. that one, which Beast is immune to. Uh, so we're immune to everything. In some way. Like, we're all immune to one thing or another, like, so. Alright. I could do this. Does anything seem different now? What happened? We've opened Disabled a portal. Boards, if... And now the portal's open. Oh, Stargate, SG1. Oh, let's go. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm on another planet. Uh, it's a shit planet. 
Has the gold been there? <laughs> Alright, what's this thing do? Amadia truly is the mother of all magic. The patron of all who use swords. Uh, okay. There's nothing but retardedness here. Alright, this, this is a bit of everything. Oh, dude, it's like a, a superstar gate where, like, I don't know. I have to just, like, run through it, though. So I think I you, found something. What'd you find? Some grave jewel over here. I think this might be used to open the shrine door. No, but it, it's worth selling. So, don't you have that ability to fucking. I don't have it tuned right now. I figured, like, it's really just a convenience thing. Alright. What's this over here? Alright, I pressed a button. Now you're locked in there. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just want the ability to fly. I have to say, having like unlimited fucking action bar slots is like the worst thing to ever happen in this game to me. And now you can open that one. I know you got hit midair by some ice. No, I got MLG'd. Our defenses are breached. Must I kill you now? It would pain me. <laughs> uh. She mad? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, dude, she's got four gold on her. Nice. Um. Tell her she has nothing to fear. Tell her she has nothing to fear from you. I am relieved. I greet you. I am, I was, Amadia's chosen champion. She gasps and bows her head in deference. Forgive me, please. I hold this boon. It is Amadia's. It should be yours. All right, sure. A pair of gloves, beaten and worn, but clearly of the highest value, especially to a wizard. Fuck, I don't want those. Fine. Uh, what have you she been doing up there? Does she serve Amadia? I came to the council to learn to be divine. I failed. I'm not made to be pursued by evil. And that's what it means to be Godwoken. Afterwards, I roamed the island, as did all we fallen knights. But my worst fears came true when the Black Ring came. I fled here. I made sure the temple was defended and went to the altar. I prayed to Amadia for help, but she did not answer. I'm not ashamed to say that I hid. There is untold evil in the world. And it has reached the island. It seeks the Godwoken who would be divine. I cannot bear it. Uh, we seek our Armadia's altar. Armadia's altar is at the highest point. Climb to the sky and you may find it. But be warned, Armadia rarely answers now. And when she does, she sounds unwell. May she speak to you with love. She bows her head in deference and allows you to leave. Alright, what kind of fucking terrible gloves did I get? Okay, first of all, let's give you the shrooms. Uh, My man. Knight of Armadia's gloves. I mean, they're not bad, but they are definitely spellcaster gloves. Nothing wrong with that. The ironic thing is it makes it kind of, they, they're kind of worthless because fucking the way we, we work this out <coughs> is we just only do spell damage. Alright, I'm gonna have a snack. Okay, I'm gonna go see if my gem opens this door over here. Well, they, she said go to the highest point. Yeah, but I just I, I picked up a gem. So like, this seems like the highest point. Yeah, I know. It's, I know that's where we want to go, but I want to try this door. I figure like it's right here. I might as well try. Still all hostage. All right, native Armadia. It would yeah, I have an option. Kill you, but if I must do so, I will. All right. I shall take that as a yes. What? what? The fuck? She she got mad at me. I have like negative seventy fucking reputation with her. What did you do? I I oh, she, if she if I must pain you uh, if I must kill you then it pains me to do so. I'm gonna give her some fine wines. She, she wants some oranges. I'm sure she does. I, Meanwhile, I'm just over here. Just give, give her fucking ribs and shit. 
The Ravisher. Fuck. Doesn't make her any happier. It's fucking stupid. I'm gonna load it. Alright, go ahead and load the game. She's calling me an insufferable louse now. What the fuck? <laughs> Piece of shit. Dude, you offended her. What did you do to offend her? I, I don't know. We already had that conversation with her. And so, like, I just didn't want to have it again. Where, like, I basically, you know, said, like, you know, sanguine my brother. Hey, fuck off. I am. She yeah, whatever. Forgive, please. Well, I can... Beaten and wound. She bowed. Okay, there. Let me give you the shit again. Sorry. Okay, I can in fact interact with the door, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. That fucking annoys me now. I mean, women are temperamental, Mike. <laughs> I don't went to video games, it's supposed to be escapism. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> fantasy realism. Alright. I'm gonna try this again. Let me save it just before. It would pain me to kill you. I am fear. relieved. Okay. She gasps. Forgive me. Uh. Is yeah, it's literally the same conversation. It would. Right, yeah, so it's. Uh, by the way, I'm stuck in a loop. If I decide me. to press the wrong thing, Amadi then okay. it's it's actually a bug. I'm gonna say. What? Okay, what's the well, problem? I have this thing over here. Alright, can I fucking touch the... Wait, you, you know we've been there, right? Mike, I what? have a gem to open this door. Alright, fine. Reach out and place the gem into the hollow between Amadia's eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm With a it. grating sound of stone upon stone, the statue of Amadia moves to one side, revealing a secret room. Can you fucking let me touch the fucking altar? A bird flits in the background. I just want to check this out. The altar. Laying your hand on the weather-beaten stone, you feel a gentle heat. Dude, me and Armadia go like way back to Tutorial Island, okay? A sense of warmth and peace fills she, you. She knows what's up. Drop a knee and whisper a prayer to the goddess. As you whisper your words, you feel the world around you melt away. You open your eyes to an old log house, a roaring fire, and a door ajar. Pushing the door open, you find a bedroom, comfortably furnished. In the middle of a bed, wrapped in blankets, is an old, shivering woman. She reaches out. Welcoming her lost child. So good of you to come. She has been so proud to watch your heroics, but now you need to help her. She leans forward, gray hair falling to frame her wrinkled face, and whispers that she is so, so hungry. She needs to feed. She needs your source. Very well. Step forward and allow her to take your source. The woman takes you in her arms, pulling you close in a warm, soft embrace. You almost can't help relaxing as her warmth spreads through you. You're still breathing in her scent, the smell of home. When you feel her claws, they press into your back, tearing cloth, breaking skin, pushing deep into muscle. A gasp escapes your lips, and you sense it, her ferocious hunger as she starts to feed. You feel your source draining away, your energy sapping, your own hunger becoming unbearable. You push her away, staggering backwards, until you rest gasping against the door. The figure in the bed draws the curtains and smiles as she is bathed in moonlight. She turns back to you, her grey hair now streaked with gold. She gets out of the bed, walking towards you, but you feel your god pulling you back, pulling you away from her claws. The room fades, but Amadi's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. Alright, I well, got that one. Alright, let me, let me teleportal to you. Alright, into the door. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna basically uh, put on sensors, alright? Uh, let's let's take this island away. <laughs> alright, let's drive, you know, yeah, I agree. Driving the island away. Fuck, there's like nothing to do here. Oh, dude, unidentified crossbow. Oh, that's uh, the Vow Keeper, Divine Crossbow. 20% critical chance. I, uh, fuck yeah, I'd say it's good. Uh, there's also useless diamonds. You can have that. And now you're over <laughs> Useless <covered>. diamonds? <laughs> diamonds uh, heavy. Hey, you can just give me all your gold. I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that. Oh yeah, because gold weighs so much. It, it, no, it does. Alright, see here. 
So I have the, the silent, uh, silent violence, and then now I'm gonna go to the this one. Yeah, it's like it's already an automatic upgrade. My crit chance is sixty-five percent. Sounds good. I will be critting more than half the time. And yet, probably critting never, because never lucky. Never lucky, always unlucky. Alright. Mystical rune frame. Rune frame of power. Always some fucking shit. That, is, that was some fucking good loot, honestly. Good thing you found this, because I probably wouldn't have. I would have been fucking useless. Alright, I think we're done with this. Oh, point. you always know what to say. Yeah. To validate me. <laughs> you were useful. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm going down the mountain. Oh man, those gloves are actually pretty good. See ya. Oh man, I lost my buffs. I must stay up there forever. I'm never now. coming down. <laughs> oh, I, I was permanently hasted. It was so fun. It was so much fun. It was like fucking some quake level shit. I was bunny hopping all the time. Fuck, I can't see. All right. Well, let me look at what's on the map now. So we've done the temple to Armadia. Uh, I mean, we didn't do the Temple of Relic, so I guess we'll do the Temple of Relic. Because we kind of just fucked off. Remember that fucker I left on the ship? I'm pretty sure that's the place he wants to go to, right? Maybe. Uh, I think place. it was Relic. Uh... No, my buffs! Mob buffs. All right. Well, uh, I I don't actually know where he is. So I'm pretty sure you left him on the boat. No, no, no. I don't know where his friends are. Sorry, that's what I meant. But I don't give a fuck. So when we see him, we'll see him. Oh shit! There's a black ring defiler here. Where are they fighting? Not defiling my boy, are they? As if from nowhere, a sweating warrior appears before you. Oh hey. Who the hell's be yow? Uh, am I a lone wolf or am I black ring? I guess I'm black ring. Or no, I guess I should say I'm a lone wolf. My gut misgives. The time's too short for doubt. Who be yow really? Out of the phrase, Glechlar Dumar. This satisfies him. He points you down the rise to where a skirmish still continues. Then get to work right quick, yow wolf, and earn yow a keep. The order sends its swine, and yow must help us kill him. Move, Merc. Uh, yeah, we'll kill the Divine Order scum. To it. Now. The fuck's going on here? There is experience here that we do want to miss out on. Oh, dude, Magisters? You get to kill Magisters. My favorite them. fast time. Alright. I mean, I don't know what the fuck's the plan here. Fuck bitches up and then probably kill the black ring afterwards, cause fuck them. <laughs> I mean, isn't that. Oh, but like, wasn't. Uh, maybe this is the Divine Order. Maybe this is like his friends, actually. Shit. One sec. We need to see. We need to see if the, those are his friends, cause uh, that's kind of important. <laughs> I actually had this loaded up still. Uh. Oh yeah, okay, that's not it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. This is it. Then we can kill these guys. Fuck him. Good, good. Conscious free killing. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm already working on that guy. It's like, oh no, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> You'll understand in time. Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything else to do here. It's fine. Oh, is that some blood I see? Let's go. Get in there. That's not blood I can use. Fuck. I mean, if I you guess could just wait. Oh, I see some. Glare turns to be able to fucking make some blood for you. Did you find some? Holy shit, you found the pixel. It was hiding underneath it. I was checking out the blood over in the other corpse on the other side, and like, no, there's nothing there. 
Ah, mm. uh, let's go with power infusion. Why is he wounded? Who? My incarnate. He's not wounded. He's at full HP. He's at half health for me. No, he's at full HP. I'm glad that bug still exists. Remember like, when it's you not to... been that prevalent though, to be, to be fair. Remember when you used to use, lose all your stats <laughs> and had to reload the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't do anything. I lost all my abilities, bro. Uh, path interrupted. The fuck? You know, it's just funny because it's a, a, this retarded ass pillar in the way, so I gotta just move over here. Yeah, walking. Who walks? The fuck? Did I flash still missed. Did I first? I know, I still missed anyways. Yeah, I don't even give a fuck, honestly. Why would I flesh sacrifice this shit? Fuck this shit. I'm just gonna pot, like, skip my turn. I fucking well, time my for turn beast. anyways. Come out of nowhere. It's gonna be the flight of the century, flight of the Valkyries. He's good at the You know what I'm ass. saying? Oh, I wanna go over there. Give I wanna go over there. Get, 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 yeah. Whee. That's a bit short of why I want you to go, Beast, but alright. I respect that. No, I, I really do. That's what the pawn is for. No, you're the fucking. No, actually, the pawn doesn't really get me that close. I get to be the there, which isn't close enough. But it'll do. Or actually, is it close enough? Oh, oh, overpower? No! <laughs> Can I squeeze any more out of this? I'm so sad! Let's throw your shield or some shit, I don't know. I was gonna, but like, I was, I was, I was thinking bounce, bouncing shield. Of course it doesn't bounce though. Fuck. Fucking hell. Why well, is it my turn again? I'm so sad, dude! Alright. So I'll just fucking hit this guy a bunch. This <laughs> beef has no health at all. What do you mean has no health at all? 1,800? That's enough. 1,188. Don't fucking shame her health. She's got armor. I'm saying, but like, I know she has armor, but like, man. Dude, I, I did not invest in that, I told you. I mean, she's glass cannon, man. She's glass cannon without the glass cannon ability. Because they made glass cannons so bad in this game. Hey! Nice curse, idiot! What the hell? Fuck is it? What's going on here? Oh good, we're allowed to see them, because they're on our side. Ice fan. I gotta get fucked up. Well, I got eat fan. What? Wait. <laughs> wait, what? Just nether swaps the deal? That's it? <laughs> That's fine, I guess. It's like I got an action point left, I gotta use it on something. Hmm. Thinking. How about I just. I, I fucking. Can't see that guy. I guess you leech shit then. Can I see him with the match? Nope. Oh well. Eat shit. Ow! Sorry, They're doing but... it too. Stop <laughs> it! They're using your strategy. It's the it's the <laughs> wolf. the crowd, she bits. It's the whoop strategy. Whoops, I hit you. Alright, and there's Efan in the back. You know what? He's contributing. <laughs> oh shit, no, that's the wrong button. Okay. Why don't you, why don't you bless the ground? I, I learned it from them. It's the best thing to do. Alright, let me, let me think about it. Alright, good stuff. Mmm. A uh, fucking cup of tea. That's so how I know it's good. If I put that there, I'm gonna do nothing actually, because it's. Yeah, I'm gonna put a wood totem down. Wood totem. I couldn't actually see anything else. 
It's his elemental totem, and it's a wood totem. I mean, there's tons of blood, though. What the fuck? Yeah, but I didn't think I'd be able to see anything. Because of the fucking obelisk. Yeah, I couldn't see that. Well. You get what you want. It won't make it make you see any better. Should have had the pawn. Why is that your go to joke? <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. Dude, that wolf's better than you are. I love that wolf. You just hey, fucking man. sit there and put wood totems down and the fucking wolf comes in and encourages us all? Fuck yeah. You're like, Sipil doesn't have any health, well now she has health, fucker. I'm gonna harm you! Alright, what do I do? Just hit this fucker? Eh. Maybe at the pawn. Nah, I have uh, I have blitz attack. It's just as good. I'll yield to none. Maybe if you have the pawn. You know what? Maybe you're the pawn. Maybe you're part of the pawn. Have fun missing. Yeah, no. Nice. <laughs> Eat shit. Nah, unfortunately, I can't really see anyone else. So, is there is there, is there any other enemies here? I can't tell. There's a chicken next to Beast, oh, and that, there's thing, the yeah. dude you attacked. Uh, that's that's why I couldn't see him. I'll just kill Rip. everyone, you know. All right. Hey. <laughs> Did you damage? It's fun. You just can't go into this now. I also have no dodge on the tank. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, would you want that? Just help me. No, you, you passed. <laughs> this is this is what drives Bird Prince to drink. Fuck it. Wasn't he already knocked down? Now he's super knocked down. Necrofire blocked by magic armor. Uh, going for the yep. Yeah. Ow. Is this shitty potion? A plate? I think can have that. Alright. Uh, Sabeel gets a steam arrow. So at least guys have ghosts. Alright. Holy hand grenade! Fuck yeah! You gotta say that for the end. The spirit of a magister priestess swipes her staff in wide arcs through the air. She turns and spots something. Wargs, sell the child. Paladins. Away from him, you foul creature! There's wargs. A ghostly cacophony reaches your ears. The snarl of a beast and the scream of a man. I got a snack, Sibyl. The priestess lunges forward to help someone unseen. There's another scream, cut short by a wet crunch. The priestess falls backwards, clutching a severed arm in paladin garb. Magisters and paladins fighting alongside each other. A rare sight indeed. The spirit of a woman in strange armor stands before you. Visible on her breastplate is the seal of Ralic. She shoots you a look of deep dismay. Godwoken, why do you aid these servants of the void? Do you not know your purpose? Uh... I say it's all part of a ruse, you're not truly with the Black Ring. The spirit stares deep into your eyes for a long moment, before sighing with resignation. The quality of Godwoken has declined since my time, it seems. Very well. Do what you will to survive. Uh, not that she is neither the Black Ring or Divine Order, who is she? I am, was, a Knight of Ralic. I was tasked with guarding his presence upon this holy island. Before that, I was the same as you. A god woken. She looks you over once again. The judgmental arch of her eyebrows suggests you're less than she had hoped for. Perhaps not exactly like you, but I heard the call and came here to face the trials of the gods. I was not chosen for divinity. Instead, I stayed here and guarded this temple. The Black Ring ended my vigil. They came, intent on destroying this place. I fought them off as long as I could, but there were too many. 
Ask the spirit if she knows why she wasn't uh, chosen to become the next divine. There, there was a reluctance in my heart, a lingering doubt. To be divine is to shoulder a great responsibility. Deep down, I didn't want that responsibility for myself. The gods must have sensed my unwillingness. Still, I wanted to serve them. I became a Knight of Relic that day. Say that you seek the Council of Seven. How, uh, does she know how to access it? The altars shall show the way, but only to those deemed worthy. Bow and pray to each altar. The way may be revealed to you then, or it may not. If the gods do not choose you to progress, then you'll likely share my fate. Um... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, say, tell the spirit that the gods have become badly beaten. Their altars are unlikely to yield results. A brief note of incomprehension and fear creeps across the spirit's features. She regains her composure and shakes her head. No, that cannot be true. It cannot. Pray at the altars and seek the path into the council. The gods will not fail us, you'll see. All right, well. Can we do this one? Stands before yeah, I'm doing it. Flecked with moss and the cracks of age. An ant crawls across the surface, dipping in and out of the inscription that's engraved on the rock. In honor of Ralik, first of the gods and patron of humanity. Uh, kneel before the altar and whisper a quiet prayer to the human's god. Perhaps here in his own temple you can talk to him. As your prayer drifts away on the breeze, you feel the world around you shift. You open your eyes to a courtyard with wooden targets and practice posts scattered about. And there before you stands Ralik, a twisted old man struggling to heft his own sword. With difficulty, he lifts it high, cutting down towards one of the targets, but he misses completely. His sword clangs against the cobbles, slipping out of his hands and skittering towards you. Cursing loudly, he crawls towards you, searching hands running over the stone. He's blind. He hears you as you step forward and lets out a cackle. One of the others sent you, eh? Send you to pester a poor old man that has lost his sight. Uh, pick up his sword and return it to him. He snatches it back from you, but seems more likely to use it as a support than a weapon. He approaches, running his hands over your face. He grunts. He's not impressed by Zolstis's champion, apparently. But he says that he may be willing to help. He just needs a little something from you. A small favor. Two, actually. He grins broadly, yellow, crooked teeth splayed wide. He needs your eyes. After all, what is a warrior without his sight? He assures us that they will be put to good use in the war against the Void. Uh, <laughs> do, do I give him my eyes? You have a better idea. Ask your god to intervene and do something about this. Let's, let's do that one. Your god <laughs> leaps forward, knocking the frail old man sideways. Relic gets to his feet, grabbing a shield emblazoned with a burning sun, and backs away defensively. The image fades, leaving only the symbol of the sun dancing in your vision. You slowly come to your senses at the temple, where chittering birdsong fills your ear. Yeah, I didn't want to lose my sight. Fuck that shit. Don't right. chow, it's the god king's island now. I'm just eating the priestess, one sec. Alright. You, you good? I guess. Uh. Oh wait, shit! You didn't. You didn't fucking. There's a black ring diary here. Uh. There's nothing here. I'm gonna pick up that. Is there anyone else here to talk to? I guess there's another paladin archer. The spirit of a paladin stands before you. He shoots you a hostile glare. Get away from me, Blackwing Lackey! Alright. Should we just kill all these guys then? Uh, let me go talk to them. I was still here when you were supposed to be at camp. Get you out there and... Fight well for underlings. Shrug, you've had practice. And you shall have more. You may even kill a god Vulcan if you can find one. <laughs> Maybe even old Alex himself. He's like fucking. You might kill Godwoken. We are Godwoken. All right, you want to kill them? Do I? I mean, we should probably do it next time. Yeah, we'll do it next time. All right, bye, bye, guys. Good boy. <laughs>